Oh, my gosh. Uh, what a day it was. It was pile on Trump Day all yes, day all yesterday. Day. After, Morning, tonight. After Mitt Romney's speech, well, last night for the debate, fractious party infighting spilling onto the debate stage where insults and innuendo were flying. Well, front runner Donald Trump firing back at Marco Rubio's recent comments about the size of the billionaire's hands. He hit my hands. Nobody has ever hit my hands. I've never heard of this one. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? <laughs> He referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. Nominating Donald would be a disaster. I have never tried to go and get into these kind of scrums that we're seeing here on the stage. You challenge him on a policy issue. You ask him about the economy, and the first thing he does is launch an attack about some little guy thing. Don't worry about it, little Marco. Wow, the head-to-head -head on Fox News also saw Trump. I have a very strong... Pleasant words with uh, the network's... Megyn Kelly, this was their first meeting, you remember, since clashing at a debate last summer. Earlier in the day, in an unprecedented move, the last Republican presidential nominee entered the field of the fold, denouncing the party's leading candidate, Mitt Romney, with an incredible speech last night. Donald Trump is a phony, a fraud. His promises are as worthless as a degree from Trump University. He inherited his business. He didn't create it. And whatever happened to Trump Airlines? How about Trump University? And then there's Trump Magazine, and Trump Vodka, and Trump Steaks, and Trump Mortgage. A business genius he is not. While well, Romney is strongly opposing Trump, the real estate mogul's rivals on the campaign trail say they actually will support Trump if he wins the nomination. During last night's debate, the candidates vowed to back whoever gets their name on the party's tickets. Now, days before Justin Trudeau heads to Washington for the first Canada-U.S. state dinner in nearly two decades, our new PM will appear on 60 Minutes this weekend. Trudeau sitting down with the show's Laura Logan, rather, defending his resume of odd jobs like snowboard instructor, of course, remember that, and nightclub bouncer. You know what people say, that you're too young, you're inexperienced, that you don't have what it takes to do this job. Well, I, the way I respond to it is by ignoring it. Uh, I mean, you cannot let yourself be defined by the hopes that you will fulfill the darkest wishes of your opponents. Well, I was... well, Trudeau also defends Canada's Syrian refugee policy in the interview that will air on Sunday before his visit with Barack Obama. That's set for Thursday in Washington. Trudeau's trip comes, of course, as Donald Trump dominates the news cycle, as you heard here in the U.S. and right here at BT. This week, the two men share the same headline. The Washington Post publishing this story titled, The Many Ways Canada's Trudeau is the Anti-Trump. The article says our Prime Minister's, quote, progressive, inclusive message could not be more different than that of Trump. All right, as we mentioned at the top, a group of teens and community leaders spending the night out in the very cold uh, Richmond Hill, raising money and awareness to help homeless youth. Now, ah, what a night it has been there. Now, inside, warming up, getting ready for breakfast, despite the snow and sub-zero temps. Dozens slept outside in the streets with nothing but sleeping bags and the clothes in their backs. They left their warm homes and ditched their cell phones even to feel what it would like to be homeless. It's called the 360 Experience. We will be talking to more of them in a uh, little bit about what happened. To learn more, look them up on Twitter at 360kids underscore York.